Hey guys. So first off, yes, I am in a Ninja Turtle onesie because I woke up this morning not feeling so great and uh, I just want to be comfy in pajamas. So I worked all day in a onesie. But I'm here with an update. So today is week 44, I think. Or not week 44, check in 44. Let me get my stuff here. So this past week was really, really good. I think I did great this week. Um, and I'm really, I don't know, I'm just really proud that I really stuck to something for the first week. And I mean, I know one week isn't anything. I've gone a lot longer uh, staying on track and whatnot, but to, because I'm really just starting this all over again, I'm just really happy with where I'm at for the first week. So overall, um, I ate fairly healthy. I stayed within my calorie deficit every single day. Um, in that time though, I did have unhealthier things. I've had chocolate, I've had chips, um, I've had a lot of carbs, but I always made sure that I was in a deficit. When it came to my water, I hit 120 ounces or a gallon of water a day consistently. There were days I drank a lot more. There were days when I just barely hit that goal, but I did get there. Um, like there were times, there was one day it came down to like the last 15 minutes of the day that I, I drank, I think it was, it was only like 15 ounces, but I like guzzled it down to make sure that I got in my water for that day. Um, but yeah, I still hit, I still hit the goal every single time. For my exercises, my workouts, I did a workout every single day last week. So I'm doing a program, it's a Beachbody program called 645, So it, it, which basically means you work out six days a week and it's a 45 minute workout. So the reason I chose this particular program was because I am doing the 75 hard challenge, or I get in my case a 75 medium, um, you have to do a workout every day for 45 minutes for that 75 medium challenge. And because this particular program has 45 minute workouts, that's why I chose it. The only thing though is because there is one rest day in that week, in that program, in the 645 program, I had to kind of just pick and choose a couple different um, beach body workouts to kind of make up that 65 minutes because it was a rest day in the beach body program i wanted to make sure that i wasn't overexerting myself on that what is supposed to be a rest day so instead of doing you know a harder workout or doing something um working my muscles anything like that i did decide to do um a stretching workout uh, along with a little bit of yoga um so that it all equaled up to 45 minutes. So I was active every single day. On top of those workouts, I did do a little bit of walking, not too much. Um, I, w I did go to visit my parents a couple times, but I also tried not to go outside. Like It was freezing cold this past week. There were days when it was like minus 40, minus 50. I was not looking to go outside. So I didn't go out as much, but I did make sure to get in as much extra exercise as possible. Um, yeah, so that's all I got for those updates. Um, the six, sorry, this, the 75 medium workout or challenge is going well, is going great as well. I've been able to hit all my goals for that. Um, so every day for the 75 hard, you have to drink a gallon of water, read 10 pages of a book, take a progress photo, do a 45 minute workout and eat healthy. I believe those are all the ones. Um, I still haven't had any alcohol and technically, um, so in six, four five medium, you do get a cheap meal, but technically, I mean, realistically, I could have a cheap meal every day as long as it fell within my calorie deficit. So I did have some cheat cheating food, but 
because I'm not following a specific diet, like I'm not following keto, I'm not doing low carb, I'm not, I'm not doing a specific diet, I'm just sticking to calorie deficit, I was able to have stuff that wasn't great for me, but I still stuck within the deficit. So that's where my like cheat stuff comes in. So what, if I were to go for one day that I didn't hit my calories, that I was over my deficit, then that would be okay. I'm really trying not to, but it would be okay because I'm allowed to have one cheat meal a day or a week. So if I were to go over on calories, that would be my cheat day. But I'm really, really trying to stick to staying within my calories every day. So all of that being said, hit my goals every single day. I did lose weight this week, finally. Um... So I am down four pounds in the last week. So I'm down a total of 14.6 pounds since I started my journey in November 2020. It doesn't seem like a lot, but if you've been watching along, you know I fell off for quite a long time, for a good five months. So getting back to it, and I'm back to 14.6 pounds down, I'm happy with that because if you had watched you knew i was 30 pounds down fell off gained weight back and yeah starting all over again it, it's hard but i'm doing it and i'm off to a good start so far i'm i'm happy with this i'm a little bit nervous though i do have to admit because i was in close contact with a positive covid case and i did wake up feeling pretty crappy this morning really headachey I'm just really tired and I just don't want to do anything, hence the pajamas. Uh, but I'm just nervous that if I did catch COVID or do catch COVID, it's really definitely going to put a damper on all of my plans for 75 hard and just doing better. But I mean, if it happens, it happens. It's not really something I can control. I'm taking all the steps I need to need to, to be safe. but. Oh, well, we'll see it as it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go take my pre-workout because I do still need to get in a workout despite feeling like crap. This is something I think I could push through in order to get my workout done. So I'm going to keep going as long as I can. And if COVID takes me out, then it does. And I just have to start all over. That's, that's all it is. So wish me luck in this next week. It's going to be tough because I'm already... Like, I just don't want to do any more because I am so tired, but I need to push through it. So, wish me luck, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.